everyone. Welcome back to Lucky by Nature. Angelic Vixen here. So in this video, I am going to go over if the Titans can be transferred to the other maps. Now, if you're like me, you probably have heard different things, but I'm going to read to you exactly where Wildcard stands on this at this point. Of course, as you know, things may change and with the Titans being so powerful, they are going to have to factor this, especially in PvP. So let's get right into it where they discuss the Titans on other maps. And then I want to show you directly what happens when you take them to the other maps. So let's get right into this. All right, so the question was posed to Wildcard and they did answer. They were kind of vague, but let's see if we can read through it, you know what I mean, and try to read between the lines. It says here, Survivor Natix asks, as you mentioned in a previous digest, Titans are going to be temporary teams, which they have confirmed. Will Titans have more uses for PvE players who aren't looking to go to war, or are they going to be solely for PvP? And this is what they said, and this is what I mean by reading between the lines, okay? It says, our hope is that Titans bring a new type of PvE encounter to the game with in-world boss fights and interesting new mechanics that are interesting in and of themselves. Once tamed, Titans are very powerful. That has been made very clear. Um, they can clear space and take down lots of dinos quickly, making them good for area cleanup or meat runs. In addition, we've worked to make each of them fun to ride. I enjoy exploring various maps on them for that reason. So when you, if you think in the concept of reading between the lines, what do you make of this, okay? Now, they specifically said that they enjoy exploring the various maps with these tamed titans. In my opinion, because this is a PvE question, I think the likelihood that you'll be able to transfer your Titan Tames is on the higher side. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what happens when you take these to another map, okay? Because they do act slightly different than they do on Extinction, especially because there's water on the other maps, except for, you know, Scorched Earth doesn't have a lot of water. But you know what I mean. Like, there is a lot of water on the island, Ragnarok, and things like that. So, in the center. So, I think... There's a very good chance for PvE that you'll be able to take your tame titans from extinction over once they allow transfers. But if they were to allow this in PvP, when you see these things in action on a different map, it would be pure and utter devastation because they are so over the top powerful. This is going to be hard enough in PvP on extinction with these things because whoever has them, you know, because you're, you're allowed to have one of each, I mean, the wars are going to be devastating. Literally wiping bases with absolutely, I mean, very, very little effort. So let's get right into the footage of this and I want to show you exactly what happens when you take the Titans to the other maps. Enjoy the video. All right, so let's go over the Titans on the maps, right? Because this is where it gets interesting. And if we are able to transfer them, some of them are going to be better than the others. I am going to show you all three in action, so definitely stick around. And of course, if you're new to the channel, you know, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of videos coming. Like right now at this point, I have 22 other videos pre-recorded. We're just kind of trying to space them out so we're not like overwhelming you guys with just so many videos of information and things that we found like we have found so much um so one of the things with this one particular as we go through them look at the oxygen it doesn't take any oxygen so as long as your character can stay underwater with scuba and things like that you can stay underwater this would be highly beneficial in the long term because you can stay down here as long as you can possibly stay down here so the thing is nice because it can go underwater and then as soon as it crests the water it will immediately go up into the air i really love the design of this it reminds me of a spaceship and something out of alien it's quite fascinating the way that they designed this titan but i see a lot of benefits to the fact that you can stay underwater indefinitely with this titan as long as you have the equipment to keep you underwater so and then i love that these little guys shoot off of it i don't know what their name is i will find out and i will let you know but they come off of it and then they will kill things as you can see right there so this is very useful now Again, I don't know if Wildcard will let PvPers transfer these across maps because 
I really think, and as you see each one of these, you know, go, you'll see why it can be highly dangerous if you were able to transfer these in PvP. Like, these things, especially one of the three, can wipe probably an entire map. And if not wipe an entire map, do so much damage that they'll wish they had wiped the entire map so people could just start over instead of seeing, like, the carnage, right? <laughs> because the carnage with these things, especially one of the three, whoo, it is fierce. So this one to me seems more on the mellow side on this map. Like it's fun. It's peaceful. It's kind of nice because you just glide and chill. It reminds me of like a Cadillac. It's funny. We recently bought a new car and at the dealership, he was like, oh, what do you guys do? And we're like, oh, we're content creators and all this stuff on YouTube. And he pulled up this channel, <laughs> our Lucky by Nature channel while we were sitting there, you know, and it was so hilarious. I was like, that is so funny. Um, no, we didn't buy a Cadillac, but, um, yeah, it's, it was just funny, just the enjoyment that we got out of that because we were like, Hey, you know, YouTube is actually a great place to do work and stuff. And he was like, really? And I was like, yeah, I was like, just don't give up. Cause you know, the hate is real on here, but you know, people have bad days and they like to take it out on content creators, which you have to learn and deal with. <laughs> So this, again, reminds me of just really like a nice chill ride. You know, everything's so smooth and comfortable. I mean, look how it glides. It's so peaceful. Like, I just love the way that they designed how this just flows. But it's, to me, not that, you know, dangerous. It's really not. I mean, it is in the sense that it is very powerful, but I don't think it's like super dangerous. Now, moving on to, now I'm going to be honest with you. I have a favorite. This guy's my favorite. You're about to see why. This is my Ice Godzilla. Okay, this is my version of Ice Godzilla. This thing is devastating. Now, out of what we read Wildcard saying, I really feel like this is what they were talking about. Look at that. Now imagine if that was in PvP. There would be nothing to stop people from wrecking your base because they can jump, okay? They jump and when they land, it's pure and utter devastation. It's shocking the massive damage that this thing does. And I totally see why they said you can use these for meat runs. I mean, it's kind of unreal, the power that this thing has. I'm quite fond of this. I definitely want to tame this and take this, you know, over to another map if we were able to. And even if right now, Wildcard says that we'll be able to transfer these, I don't know if at the time they feel like, you know, it's really gonna happen, if it, they will actually allow it. Because I see problems with this. No matter how you look at it, it is devastating to an environment. So it will be beneficial to the player but not the players nearby. So yeah, I don't feel like they will ever allow these to be transferred in PvP because you'll wreck bases. You will literally just jump walls and it would be absolutely devastating. I mean, you don't even have to get that close and it's devastating. Look. So you wanna clear out a space for your base and you wanna do it in a short period of time? Get you an ice Godzilla. <laughs> Look, I mean, I totally would get a, <laughs> a Titan just to clear out space. And now knowing this, because it would take almost no effort. You just take the stuff down. Rocks, trees, dinos, you name it. Your entire area cleared out in a matter of seconds. <laughs> I love this thing. I, I do. I can't help it, guys. This thing is, out of the three of them, I have to say this is my favorite. I'm quite fond of my, and I call him the Ice Godzilla just because that's what it feels like. And yeah, I'm going to name mine Ice Godzilla. <laughs> I just love this. I do. Oh, something new. All right. Now, out of the three, this guy is my least favorite because he's not agile at all. He's not fun to walk with. I mean, he's really clunky, he's really hard to aim, but he's very powerful, okay? So don't, I'm not saying that he's not powerful, because he's very powerful. I just feel like his mechanics aren't 
refined yet. I feel like Wild Card didn't refine the mechanics on this guy. And that's kind of hard to deal with because I really do like refined, you know, mechanics on dinos because now I've become kind of accustomed to things that kind of are really nice to move around on. But this guy, maybe they weren't done with him. Maybe they'll go back and fix him. You know, they were trying really hard to get Extinction out. Now console, of course, doesn't have it. They were probably, you know, they were having actually problems with Linux and all of these things. So maybe it's just not done, but I feel like they will work on him. At least that's my hope because yeah, he's very, he's really uncomfortable to move around and he moves fine and whatever you step on, you basically kill. But aiming and things like that, it just seems more cumbersome than the other two. Like the other two were much easier to, you know, maneuver and, and get around. But this guy, yeah, he's real, he's not fun. And he doesn't like the water. Like I got to a certain point in the water and he just did not want to go any further. And he would not go any further. He was like, mm -mm, I'm not going in the water. So clearly he doesn't like water, but he is a tree. So they can go right to the edge of water and, you know, as long as they can grow up and out. So maybe that is, you know, the premise of this guy is he's just not supposed to go in the water, you know, completely submerged. I don't know. Either that or a wild card will fix it because it's new. And right now, I really think that a lot of the things that we have are going to change a little bit. They have a history of fixing things and nerfing things and making things either better or making them worse. It, it varies depending on the situation. But like with this guy alone. I'm going to talk about clearing out space. You just walk, chilling. I'm a big tree. You know, like, it, it, but it's fun. Look at me. He just steps on stuff. Bye-bye. You're dead. You know, like, but aiming. Aiming is the issue because things move. So as long as the stuff doesn't move, you can hit it. But if it moves, you're basically not going to get anywhere. So what do you guys think? Do you think Wildcard will let us transfer these guys, you know, when the transfers finally are allowed from Extinction to the other maps, um, you know, for dinos being transferred? What do you guys think? Do you think they'll do it? Do you think that they'll only keep it for PvE? Or do you think they will allow it for both PvE and PvP only to find out that it's a bad idea after, of course, players get screwed over by this transfer issue and they wreck bases 100%. So I would love to hear what you guys think. You know, again, they were kind of cryptic in their post and their answer for this, but you know, that's not uncommon for Wildcard. They speak in tongue, they speak in riddles, and they're vague. And the reason that they're vague is because they probably don't know yet what they're gonna do. And do you think that these guys would be absolutely devastating if they did allow it? I would love to hear your opinion because right now it is speculation and I just want to bring to you as much information as possible because a lot of people didn't even know that they said that and there's so much information that I have found that they have like secretly been putting here and there that uh, says volumes for extinction. So I'm going to go back to my favorite guy because uh, I really do love him. He's my favorite. <laughs> but out of the three, which one is your favorite? Do you have any names that you'll name them when you get them? Because of course, this is gonna take a while before anybody's legit unofficial or dedicated, legit playing, you know, not highly boosted, they're gonna get these, but it's gonna be a while. And I'm sure that's what Wildcard is banking on because they have time to fix things and figure things out and make decisions. You know, they're having meetings constantly trying to figure out, okay, what do we do with this? What do we do with that? You know, and they're looking for people's opinions. They're looking for people's thoughts. But like this guy alone, I mean, look how much I have have cleared out in literally a matter of seconds so I can see why these are really good for meat runs this one is undoubtedly the best one of the three so yeah that is um I, I could do this all day I don't know why I guess I've always wanted a Godzilla concept like character fun thing to play with on a game and now I have it in an ice titan yeah my life is complete now <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this video. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Be sure to share them because, you know, we are a family. We're a community, and I fear, I really value the things you guys say. And, you know, don't take it personal when you guys see the hate comments in, you know, our comment section. It doesn't bother us. Like, when we see them, we just know those people have, you know, some obviously some really bad stuff going on in their life because happy people don't treat other people that way. So clearly something's wrong. And if that's how that they're gonna make themselves feel better, and it's all right, because you know, after two years of being on YouTube, you just kinda 
you have to smile at it because what else can you possibly do, right? But we are family, so don't hesitate to, you know, write stuff in there, ask questions. We try to go through the comments, you know, as much as we can because you guys have specific questions. So don't think that we don't see them and we're, you know, ignoring you. We make a list every single day of things that you guys are looking for so we can work on videos because we want you guys to be successful and we will do all we can for you guys to make that happen and to be supportive in your gameplay. That is all we're here for, is to really help you guys and and then just enjoy our family on ARC because you guys are awesome. But love you guys and until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.